What's up YouTube? Today we are installing Anderson Composites rear diffuser on my 5th gen Camaro. So I got the diffuser. Actually looks really well made. Compared to the original diffuser, this one is a lot cleaner. It's gonna look good on the back of this thing. Looks like we have to first take out these Allen bolts. And once those come off, looking at this, it should just pop out after removing all those bolts. All right, so I'm using a star piece, which is a T20. Undo all these. I should need to start right here. Get all the rubber out of it. <laughs> all right. So where I was mentioning Taking this bolt out, that's actually not it. The bolt we need to take out is that one. And that will allow us to pull this rear diffuser off. Now, all you have to do is pop those down and the should start coming out from the body side. this one out <laughs> yeah you gotta take the whole rear bumper off and if you need to know how to do that go back to my video installing the hero sequential lights that'll show exactly how to take the rear bumper off but it was already 90 percent off already so i had to wire all this in so yeah sorry i didn't show it in this video but if you need to go back go ahead and find that video so getting to this point, getting this latch and this latch, these are all easy. These are a pain. So they are very thick and they don't want to come out. So what I've resorted to, don't do as I do, disclaimer. Be safe in what you're doing, but I'm trying to get this to pry it out with it. it's better not to break this than it is to break this because this is what we're going to latch back onto because this is our body side but or if we break this it's okay because it's our old diffuser which in between pull it back and I'll push it back Be able to just pop it through and then keep going with she's just kind of pop like that and they easily just pop out but we have two of those tough latches on each side all right so after popping all those latches my camera would focus there we go our diffuser is now free and carefully take this off with both hands so I don't damage either of them. And I'm gonna pop this one back in, show you how show you guys how to do it. The next thing you gotta do, I got the bumper upside down right now, just so you know. Um all these little tabs, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but what I do is I they were sticking straight up like that. I stuck them out so I can get them through. If you're not supposed to do that, I'm sorry, but that's just how I'm going to do it, and then I'll fold them back down. If you do this, just be careful not to break them. I mean, they're still going to be fragile. It's all carbon fiber and fiberglass, so. So we were able to finally get this rear, rear diffuser on. Check out some angles of it for you here. But, yeah, we did have to bend these in order to whoop, once you get them get them in and everything just kind of bend them down so that way it kind of holds everything in place areas like this kind of bend the other way so there's no kind of latches both ways but primarily i want to bend them down like this but 
Yeah, there will be a few like this one right here. Can't bend it back because of this. So we'll just have to bend it upwards. Kind of like so. These as well. License plate will cover all that so you won't ever see it. Finish going through and tightening all these up. We'll reinstall this rear diffuser. Most of it in. Just need to tighten down the bolts back behind and also go up under here and tighten those up. Well, I should just put the screws in it. From there, just needs a little cleaning and that will be the rear diffuser. Overall, man, that looks, that looks really good. No complaints at all with that. That is actually a really good fit um there's one item i want to point out to you guys that i didn't think about recording until after i did it under here these little clips you'll have to take the clips off the old uh, rear diffuser and put them on the carbon fiber one other than that it should be the full installation I mean, it's shiny. <laughs> it looks really good. If you guys have any questions on this install, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave them down in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.